Women go through so many irregularities in menstrual cycles. Let's talk about menstrual cycle in detail. What it is, how it is and why are irregular periods the reason. So, egg formation is a miracle. Every month there is an egg that forms once your period start that is menarche and till menopause it doesn't stop unless and until there are various reasons for it. Now, menstrual cycle is approximately 28 to 30 days and this is an average. Normal menstrual cycles can be between 21 days to 35 days also. There are women who get cycle every 45 days diligently and that is also fine at times. When there is menstrual cycle, that means there is an egg that forms and it releases and then they wait for pregnancy to come. If there is no pregnancy, then the period comes in about 14 to 15 days. So technically, the egg formation happens in the first 15 days, egg releases and then the progesterone phase is for the next 14 to 15 days, summing up to 30 days. Now in this 30 days, there are two hormones that are very diligently working. One is the estrogen. Estrogen hormone starts once the egg formation starts. That is the onset of your period. The shedding of the lining happens and the period starts. In a similar way, the egg formation also starts. Egg formation starts and estrogen starts coming up. So once the estrogen levels go up, they keep increasing in the first 15 days and the lining of the uterus grows in the form of the endometrium inside the uterus and this is the source of the pregnancy where it has to come and stick. So estrogen not only increases the egg size, it also thickens the lining of the uterus. So when the egg starts to form, in about 14 to 15 days, it slowly increases from 10 mm, 12, 14, 16 and by 15 days, it comes to about 18 to 20 mm size. This size usually is a typical good egg. It can be 21, 22 also. And when this size of egg comes, the lining of the uterus technically corresponds to about 8, 9 or 10 mm in size. And this egg is the one that has to release now. So the egg release happens when there is LH surge. That's another hormone that comes in. Egg formation starts with FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone. And the LH surge again releases the egg. Once the egg releases, there is the area of the egg that has released starts producing progesterone. Now this progesterone is a second phase hormone where both estrogen and progesterone together work and nourish this lining of the uterus. Just in case the sperm reaches and pregnancy happens, this nourished lining is where the pregnancy grows. But then if there is no pregnancy, then this lining under the influence of estrogen and progesterone grows for about 14 days after the egg release and suddenly after 14th day, if there is no pregnancy, the estrogen and progesterone hormone drop and this drop starts with the period. So the entire journey of 20, 28 to 30 days is based on these events. And these events are based on other hormones in the body like the follicle stimulating hormone that stimulates the horm uh, follicle LH again that releases the hormone and there are other hormones the other hormones like thyroid hormone and the prolactin hormone which influence all these events so technically again irregularities in menstrual cycle can be no egg formation on time wherein there is LH that is very high like in PCO where their egg formation is, does not happen. Egg does not release 
conditions like LUF, luteinized unruptured follicle, where the egg release does not happen, where again, when there is no egg release, there is no progesterone and technically cycle gets disturbed. Sometimes egg releases, but there is blood collection in this uh, place where the egg has released that can cause hemorrhagic cyst. That is another form of a problem. And there is endometriosis where the lining of the uterus is outside in the ovary at times and that again disrupts the egg formation and release. So when there is no egg formation and release, there is either less of estrogen, no progesterone or there is only estrogen in the body with other sources and there is no progesterone. So this can lead to irregular periods. So irregular periods can be explained in this way that either egg formation is a disturbance, egg release is a disturbance, progesterone deficiency is a disturbance or the thyroid and prolactin can disturb this hormones. So anybody and everybody with irregular periods need to evaluate these problems. So a pelvic scan will help you know what is the reason whether it is PCO, whether it is a cyst, whether it is a endometriosis, whether it is what problem that is not causing regular periods. Second thing, your hormones, your estrogen hormone, progesterone hormone, FSH, LH, thyroid hormone, TSH and prolactin hormone can give you an insight into what is causing irregular periods. But when you know the reason behind the irregularities then treatment can be easier and just with one scan we cannot evaluate the reason behind your irregular periods it should always be both by scan by blood test and more powerful tool is the history whether it is a short-term problem that you're facing whether it is a long-term problem that you're facing whether it is obesity that is the reason behind it and whether other things are impacting like insulin resistance which is there in PCOD, high androgens that are there in PCOD which do not allow egg formation and release. So it's not always a simple thing but it is very simple to understand if you know the concept behind irregular periods. And in these problems there are several permutation and combinations like you can have PCO and sometimes egg forms and forms assist. You can have PCO, you can have endometriosis. You can have PCO, you can have hemorrhagic cyst. You can have always regular cycles and sometimes because of exams or some stressful situation, you can land into no ovulation and that forming a cyst and again irregular periods. So it's very much understood that these kind of problems come in and go in women's life. All that is important is you should maintain your health, you should maintain proper diet, exercise, sleep and manage your stress. Take your vitamins because vitamins like vitamin D and micronutrients help with regular periods and maintaining your hormones. Not only this, if you have early issues and any other issues, you need to take care of your health by managing those issues whether it is obesity or whether it is PCOD. It's in your hands that you can take care of your health and empower yourself to make sure health is a priority.